Hi, welcome to another episode of DeployApps.io series. Uh, so in the previous screencast, we have seen how to manage team, how to create team, invite members. So in this screencast, we will see how you can use the rollback features of DeployApps.io. A lot of scenarios happen when we, let's say, uh, deployed our application and due to some reason our application is not running and we want to quickly roll back to earlier stage so um might be let's say uh, when uh, it's not able to install some kind of composer dependencies or some issues or it can be any issues happening you want to roll back so as deploy apps is like storing all the deployments in a separate folder with all the dependencies. So it's pretty easy to roll back. You don't have to deploy. We can use the rollback features and we can deploy. So let's see our application first. So if we visit and our application. So currently this is our application, the latest one. Okay. So now if we go to the deployments, section so i can see uh, these are the previous deployment right now this is like initial commit so due to some reasons if you are thinking that this text is not uh, looking good and earlier applications in this place this was working fine okay so what we will do we can use this rollback feature so if i click on rollback so here we have to provide the reason for rollback so that later you can understand why you roll back and this is post rollback command so this will be very useful if you are using like different framework or some complex application so let's say when you roll back after that you need to clear the cache so here uh, so let's say if you are using some laravel so if you want to like run some kind of command like php addition cache clear or npm related command so that you can give so whenever our rollback will happen at this stage and um, this command will be executed so this is just rollback and here uh, this is not a mandatory field so i can ignore this field and let's click on rollback so this will not take much time because it will not pull any source code from your repository just it will switch the existing deployment okay and immediately the deployment is done so if i refresh so you can see our old uh, version uh, was rolled back so now if i go back to your pipeline deployments section we can see now our uh, another deployment is created with the initial commit which we have rolled back earlier and as we can uh, store maximum four uh, deployments which we have configured in the deployments se settings so that's why like four deployments is present so now here uh, you can see this is a rollback is done and if you view the logs it what is does it copy the old release created a new release and activate new release or the post rollback command uh, which we don't have any kind of post rollback commands no post rollback command given so this is how it's pretty handy sometimes uh, things might happen that nothing is working and you quickly want to roll back rather than deploying the changes okay so hope uh, these features will be useful and uh, see you in the next episode thank you